Let's say you're a developer and you're working in Vim or NeoVim and you have a lot of CLI tools and you're doing a lot of stuff in the terminal or you're a DevOps person and you're tailing logs, you're pushing the latest build to production and you're working on your pipeline workflows. If you're doing a lot of work in the terminal and you're not using Tmux, you're missing out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Tmux allows me to have multiple terminal sessions from one window. I can split panes horizontally and vertically, and I can create whole new windows. I can then cycle in between these windows and panes really easily. But what's awesome is I can do cool stuff like run my servers and tail something or run a long running process. Like let's say I ping google.com and I wanna see what happens. I don't know, maybe it's gonna go down, who knows? If I detach from my terminal and go do something else, I can reattach to Tmux and my stuff is still running. Tmux is a superpower and I'm gonna show you how it works. Let's get into it. Now I think Tmux is unbelievable and it's kind of a superpower for the terminal. And if you're an aspiring neckbeard like me, you should learn it. In fact, I think it's so important, I'm gonna make a little mini course on Tmux starting with this video right now. This is episode one. We're gonna talk about why Tmux is great, we're gonna talk about how it works, and we're gonna show off some of its features and functionality. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make Tmux look beautiful. That's right, the Tmux session you saw on the screen before this, that's not how Tmux looks, but we'll get there. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how I use it in my day-to-day -day workflow to get the absolute best productivity out of my terminal. It seriously is amazing and I'm excited to show you. But first, let's talk about Tmux. What the hell is it? Well, it's a terminal multiplexer. Okay, got it? No? All right, well, let me show you. Now let's say you're a user using a computer. This is me, by the way. Tof. That's me. Nice to meet you. Now, if I wanna log into my terminal, typically what you have is a single pseudo login to one terminal instance at a given point in time. We'll call this sudo login. So basically, if you wanna open another login to a terminal, you have to open a new window or a new tab. This is your terminal and it's a one-to-one -one relationship. Okay, but now what if you're using Tmux? Well, Tmux allows you to do something a little bit different here. Let's say you're the user with Tmux, you are allowed to have multiple pseudo terminal logins tied to just one terminal session. So this is how Tmux works. You get multiple terminal logins for one user tied to a single controlling window. It is a multiplexer or MUX for short, and it's for the terminal, so it's Tmux. That's where the name comes from, and that's essentially how it works. And this gives you a lot of cool things, but one of the best aspects is you can sever the tie from the controlling window, and then at any other point, you can log in to another terminal. Maybe it's a different terminal session, maybe you're SSH somewhere, and you can restore this whole entire session because Tmux is running in the background on whatever computer is running Tmux. So that's just a high level overview of how Tmux works and how I use it in my day to day. So in short, just to summarize, Tmux has a lot of benefits over using just your terminal. Number one, you have persistence, which means that you can start a Tmux session, detach, do something else. Maybe you're working on something different or you go home and then SSH back into your work computer. When you open up Tmux again, that session is still there. It persists. Number two, you get session sharing, which isn't something we covered and it's not something I'm going to cover, but essentially you can have Tmux set up so that multiple users can use the same Tmux session, allowing you to pair program if you're a programmer. Funny story, I did this at a job once and it works pretty well. And number three, you have multiple windows. And I would also add and panes. As you saw in the intro, you can split your windows, you can split your panes, you can create new windows. It's a great experience for productivity if you're using a lot of different terminal programs. Okay, so uh, enough chit chat. Let's show Tmux off and kind of go over some of the features I use on a daily basis as a daily Tmux user. 
Now this is the base Tmux config. There's no extra configuration here. So it's gonna look a little bit different than the intro and the key bindings are gonna be different. We'll go over better key bindings in a future video, but this is what you'll get out of the box. So all we have to type to start Tmux is, you guessed it, Tmux. Now this drops us into a multiplexed terminal and you can tell because there's this little green bar at the bottom here. That's Tmux running. It shows off some interesting information like what window you're on, what program you're currently running, the user, the time. There's a lot of configuration you can do there as well. So now we're in Tmux, uh, we can do a few things. We can create a new window. And by doing that, we wanna push the leader button. Now what's the leader button? It is Control B. So Control B C will create a new window. And we can tell that we created a new window because there's another entry in our little green bar at the bottom here. Now we can go back to our previous window by typing Control B N. Now that switches the window that you're currently at. You can also type Control B and the number of the window that you wanna to switch to. Now you can see there's a little asterisk icon so you can tell that I'm on window zero. If I wanna to go to window one, Control B one. If I wanna to go to window zero, Control B zero. Control B N will cycle through them. Control B N, Control B N, and there you go. Those are two windows. Now in this window, I can split it to be different panes. If I wanna split it horizontally, it's Control B percent. That is a horizontal split. Or is that vertical? I can't tell anymore. Now if I wanna split this pane again vertically, I can do Control B double quote. That splits it vertically. Now to cycle through my panes, I can do Control B up to go up, and left to go left, arrows to go in whatever direction you want. So it's leader, arrow, leader, arrow, leader down, leader up, leader left. And so that's how you create windows, panes, and navigate between all of them. But what if you have multiple windows open and you want to rename them? Well, that's pretty easy too. Control B colon gets you into command mode in Tmux. Now that you're in command mode, you can type things like rename window, and then you can type the name of your new window. Let's just call it poop. So now you can see our window name has been updated to poop. Pretty sweet. So let's say I'm doing something else and I want to detach from Tmux. That is leader D, D for detach. Now you can see I've detached from session zero. Okay, awesome. How do I reattach? Well, there's a couple things you can do. First, if you want to just see the list of sessions, you can do Tmux LS. That will list all the sessions that you currently have open in Tmux. Pretty neat. Next, if you want to reattach to your previous session, you do Tmux attach. There you go, now your session's back. You can see that our window still has that poop name on it and we're looking pretty good. So talking about sessions now, how do you create another session in Tmux? Well, let me detach from Tmux and then just type Tmux again. That will create a whole new session for you. You can see that there's no windows, no panes, and it's just a blank Tmux instance. So this is cool and all, but what if I wanna get back to my previous session? Well, from within Tmux, it's actually really simple. Leader S will list all the sessions currently open in Tmux. Then you can go up and down to navigate between them. And we can see that our previous session, uh, zero, has all of our panes and windows. And so we can hit enter to select that one and we're back in. But this session list isn't very easy to understand. How do we rename sessions? Well, through the command line, we can do leader colon and type rename session. And we'll call this one the poop session. Just because we named one of our windows poop, it seems fitting. So now if we list all of our sessions, we see poop sessions up top, and then our unnamed new session that we created that's kind of blank is at the bottom. So now it's easier to understand where your sessions are. So then again now, if I detach from this session and type Tmux LS, we see that we have two sessions. I can now reattach to my last Tmux session, and that's not the one I want, so I can just switch it to go to poop session. Now if I do a long running process like pinging google.com let's say, or let's say you're tailing logs at work and you have to leave and go home and then maybe SSH into a remote machine or whatever, you can just detach from this session, go do whatever else, you know, you can quit this terminal. Actually, oh yeah, so my terminal has been quit, I can reopen iTerm, and then if I type tmux attach, there I am, I'm reattached to my last session which was of course poop session and my ping is still running. Tmux has been running in the background this whole time so that when I reattach, I'm really just opening the window that was previously closed and everything within it has been running. Pretty awesome. Also, all my sessions are still here. So in this video, we went over a little bit about how Tmux works, why maybe you would want to use it, and some of the benefits you get from it. And then we went over exactly what you can do to get a great workflow from Tmux. But it's not properly configured. I mean, 
out of the box it's fine, you get all the features and functionality, but we could do a lot better. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make Tmux look amazing and have much more sane key bindings and defaults. So stick around and subscribe. And hey, thanks nerds.